Smells good, Glenn, as always. So this is Newfoundland molasses bread. Okay. What? Newfoundland? Um, why Newfoundland? Beyond. Why not? Why not? Okay, so we've been making malt bread. I've been playing with malt bread. Yes. And in my research to find a really good malt bread recipe, I kept stumbling across... This would come up in the Newfoundland search. molasses, Newfoundland molasses raisin, Newfoundland molasses spice loaf. Um, it smells amazing. And the ingredients make it a very close cousin to the malt bread. Okay. Which is why it smells the same and has that, that same really earthy tone. Which is a bit more molasses. Um, way more molasses. Okay. <laughs> way more molasses way and more. no malt. And, and no a, malt, okay. And a much nicer dough to play with. Here's how I made it. So in a small pot over very low heat, I put in water and milk. Butter. and the molasses, and I just warmed that up to melt the butter and dissolve the molasses into the liquid. You don't want to get it too warm, you don't want to get it hot, um, you don't even want to bring it up to body temperature. Take that off the heat, and then I mix together the dry ingredients, and that's flour, salt, and a little bit of cinnamon and yeast. Give that a stir, put it on the stand mixer. Uh, turn the stand mixer on and then slowly pour in your liquid. And if you're unsure of the temperature of your liquid, um, test it and it should be in the low 90s or cooler. And allow the mixer to sort of pull in the flour a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Then I put in one egg, vanilla, and once that had sort of come together, I put in the raisins, and then I kneaded that for five or six minutes. Pulled it out, put it onto the bench, and it was a really nice dough. Um, this was a nice and elastic, easy to play with dough. Put it into a bowl, covered it, and let it rise to double. Um, once it had doubled, I cut it into six pieces. and then shaped and put three pieces into each of the baking dishes. Covered that loosely with, with plastic wrap and left that to rise. And again, just like the malt bread, you only want it to rise to the top of the baking dish. Once that had happened, into the oven and baked them. All right, in that case, sounds good, Glenn. Dive in. So. So, I'm curious. Oh, let's taste it first. Oh, it looks good. The third? Well, it seemed like a pretty big piece. Okay. Oh, it smells really nice. It's got good texture, or it looks like it has good texture. I'm jump in. Mm-hmm. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. When nope. you said the lot of molasses, I was expecting, you know, that, that 
Yeah, you would expect it to be a lot sweeter. Mm. But it has a nice dark, earthy flavor from the molasses. And depending on what type of molasses you use, you would change the flavor completely, right? If you used a fancy molasses, it would have a much lighter flavor. If you used blackstrap molasses, um, it would be very sort of dark and earthy. Huh. Oh. Cake's done. There's a cake. We'll get to the cake in a little bit. So I'm curious, because you put three pieces in, I want to just kind of grab it and rip and maybe that works. third off. Like, I just want to say, oh, and there's your third. And there you right? go. And yeah. you kind of... And so, you know, every recipe, that I, every recipe that I found for this broke it into thirds just this way. So I, I assume that that's the way they do it on the rock. We do it the same here. Why not? Um, I like this. I do like this. This would be great. Again, toasted with a little bit of butter on it. Oh, really good with butter. Um, and I keep thinking I want to make a Jigs dinner. Okay. And I think if <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have a Newfoundland Jigs dinner, I feel like a Newfoundland molasses bread has to be on the table. Um, I... If you're from Newfoundland, let us know in the comments what you and think about us, that idea. And, and help give us. us some hints on the Jigs dinner because the... we're, we're doing some research, but you know, we're not sure. We're, we're from that middle part of Canada. <laughs> we're not, we don't know for sure, but... So, Leave us some notes. Um, I really like this. I think that this is a good starting point for me to add malt. Ah, yes, because you've got a, what you're looking for. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take that malt bread as much as it was it was good. I'm gonna push that aside and I'm gonna see what adding malt to this starting point what it brings to the table. All right. Um, in that case, really, I wait. Really great bread. Give it a try.